Hey everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on anything new. Today I'm going to be making some Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIYs and I think that they are perfect to freshen up your space for spring. So let's get started. So for the first DIY, I'm going to make some wooden candle holders and for the base of the candle holders and the top, I'm going to use these terracotta saucers, which are from Home Depot because Dollar Tree does not sell them, but they're only 97 cents a piece. And then I'm also going to use these two wooden rolling pins that come from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be making three of these candle holders in three different sizes. Uh, one of these wooden rolling pins I'm going to leave whole and the other one I am just measuring here four inches down and then I'm going to cut that with my saw and then that way I will have three pieces. Now that I have my rolling pins in three different sizes, I have one that I left alone and then the one that I cut with the four inch piece off. I'm gonna put everything together. I'm just gonna take one of the saucers and lay it upside down and then I'm gonna apply some E6000 to the bottom of the rolling pin and then I'm going to place the rolling pin on top of the saucer. Then I'm gonna take a, another saucer and turn that one right side up and place that saucer on top of the rolling pin. Now I just did the same thing for the other two candle holders. Um, the other two candle holders though are just a little bit different because the rolling pin does uh, taper off at the top and the bottom. So when I cut it, there is more of a thicker part um, towards the bottom of each of the rolling pins. And that is what I used as the bottom part of the candle holder. And then the smaller part is the top of the candle holder. Next, I am going to paint all three of these candle holders with this Rust-Oleum's Linen White Chalked Paint. I use this for everything. I just gave all three of the candle holders two coats of the white paint and then I let them dry. To give these candlesticks more of a distressed look, I used this gel stain in walnut by Americana, I believe. It came from Amazon. I've had this bottle for like forever. And I just put a tiny, tiny bit onto my foam brush and then I wiped it onto the candlesticks. Um, I used this in place of the cream wax just because I had it on hand. But you could use like the cream, um, dark cream wax that the chalky paint sells um, and that would work too. You could also paint it any color you wanted to. This is how the candlesticks turned out. I think they are perfect for that farmhouse touch. I used three battery operated LED candles from Dollar Tree to place on them. You can decorate them however you would like. And I only spent $8 on making all three of these candle holders and I thought that was a great deal. For this next little farmhouse project, it's super easy and simple. I'm just using one of the medium sized clay pots you can get from Dollar Tree in a pack of two. And I am just painting it with the same white chalk paint that I used on the candle holders. And I'm just dressing it the same way I did the candle holders as well, using that uh, walnut gel stain and just brushing over the clay pot. Then what I did was take some of these this greenery that came off of these flowers from Dollar Tree. I just think the greenery looks kind of like boxwood. So I took the greenery off and now all I'm going to do is just bunch it up into a pile here and then I'm just going to place it right inside of the clay pot. And that is it. That is all there is to it. I love how this little arrangement turned out. I just love this greenery. I think it just looks like a boxwood. And it only cost me $3 to make this little arrangement. Um, I used two bunches of flowers and then the clay pot was a dollar. For this last project, I'm going to use one of these wire baskets from Dollar Tree and one thing of the burlap ribbon. And basically what I'm going to do is line the basket with the burlap ribbon. So I'm going to start off here by measuring the burlap ribbon on the basket from one side of the handle to the other side of the handle, so half the basket. And then I'm going to cut my piece off 
And after I cut my piece off, I'm just gonna start hot gluing that piece to the inside rim of the basket all the way around to meet the other side of the handle. Once I have the one side done, I'm gonna go ahead and take some more ribbon and measure the other half of the basket. And then I'm going to cut my ribbon and hot glue that to the other ribbon that I already have hot glued to the basket. And then I'm just going to hot glue that ribbon again around the inner rim of the basket and then hot glue the other side to the other piece of ribbon. So for the outside of the basket, I wanted it to look like there was the burlap uh, folded over the basket. So I just did the same thing I did on the inside of the basket to the outside of the basket. I just measured half the basket from handle to handle and cut a piece of burlap ribbon and then hot glued it to the top of the rim of the basket. And then I did the same thing on the other side and I just hot glued the ribbon together at the seams so that way it would look cohesive. After the outside was done, I went ahead and came back to the inside and finished wrapping the burlap around the inside. Again, I just cut a strip of burlap for one half of the basket, and then I just lined up the seams and hot glued the piece of burlap to the first piece of burlap, just like overlapped it a little bit, and then uh, continued to hot glue that down to that first piece of bur burlap and taking it around and then I did the same thing with the other half of the basket and then I came down to a third row of burlap and I did the same thing I just layered it and hot glued it um, and then the key is really just to make sure that the seams meet the same and you're hot gluing them at the seams and then at the bottom when I was hot gluing them um, I did hot glue the bottom of the ribbon to the bottom of the basket I just love how this basket turned out and it only cost me $2 to make. And then I just added the floral that I used the greenery from and placed it in the basket and that's it. So I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.